Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 3 of Gary Grisby's War in the West, The Honesty of Forced. Uh, of Force, sorry, I should say, not Forced. That's what happens when I first start recording. Uh, so yes, we are beginning our advance into the hinterland of Sicily, which is working out quite well. Uh, we do have the rail conversions going ahead over here, which is fantastic, but allows us to uh, send more freight to the front lines, and uh, that is a good, good thing. Uh, so we may consider creating another depot at some point in the hinterland. Uh, possibly... Hmm... I mean, ideally, I'd like to create one where we have a port. Uh, we already have the ports and the depots. Uh, so over here, I have this depot, but frankly, I could just cancel and disband this depot, as it's not going to do anything for me. It's not connected to a rail line. It's kind of somewhat pointless. Uh, yes, as you can see, we're not drawing anything from it. Uh, so instead of actually disbanding it, I guess what I can do is I can make that a lower priority. Uh, so we'll have it as a priority 2, sorry, uh, priority 2 depot. So it'll be up there on the priorities, but it's not a main priority. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do then is designate our main invasion port. Uh, so, how is the port at Syracuse going? Uh, right, so the damage is actually not too bad right now. Okay. See, it's... Really not worthwhile at Gila. It's just not a very large port. Alicata, we don't have a port anyway. Oh no, we do, we do. Port level 2, okay. Right then, so we'll set uh, Alicata as the main port over here. Uh, Gela will be transferred, well, pushed down to a level 2. Uh, Noto will be 2. There we go. Uh, we'll increase the, well, let's see here, Catania. It's damaged. So until it recovers further, we'll have Syracuse act as our main port on this side of the island. So there we go, we'll increase uh, the importance. Uh, the temporary base here. Lower that down to two. Indeed, so we have the temporary port over here now. That's good. Indeed. Okay, so we are still somewhat struggling with the port capacity. Uh, like, we are trying to unload the 1st US Armoured division over here, but we can't as of this moment in time. Uh, but it should be okay, we should be able to do it next turn and have no issues. Uh, so we have these forces, uh, we need to target them. Right then, set a new airborne target. I would probably be better off uh, supporting the Landons over here. Uh, the reason being it gives us a bonus to the Landons and it helps to insecure uh, that we have good room to maneuver over there. Okay. Uh, so how are we going then in terms of actual supplies? So let's uh, consider the 8th British Army. Well, British Rifle Army. Okay, let's see. Deselect all. Supply. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Replacements will be quite good to know. Okay, 17 damage AFPs will return to the pool. Uh, 6, however, were not repairable. Okay. Headquarters. That's the cause. There we go, British. Okay, so the 8th British Army under Montgomery. Right, support units attached. Right. Supply priorities highest. Okay. So we have the three calls under the 8th British Army Command. So the 8th is the second largest army. Well, the, the largest army, I should say. Um, however, it does lack AFVs, but we still have 433, which is still a good amount. Let's see. Uh, 
There we go, supply details. Uh, so we're not quite receiving the full amount of supplies that I would like. And the issue is we are having to then send these supplies out. Uh, what is the cost of this? It's, um, wow, it's pretty expensive, actually, 18,000. Okay, so we can't relocate that command as of yet, which is a shame, but oh well. Uh, so where are we sourcing supply from? Okay, supply details. Right, so you're receiving supply from Gila. Interesting. Okay, so we're able to advance here. We have the invasion preparations underway for Sardinia. So we're looking to be on schedule here. Soon we'll be able to start looking at the Italian mainland. Uh, depending on how we go here, we do have the advance. We do have the first, well, we have a uh, US armored division holding this province here. We have the British armored spread out over here. We may be able to hold it. I'm not entirely sure of that. The Axis forces in Sicily will try very hard to escape there. It is rather interesting. Uh, so we have the Axis forces relegated to about ooh, three areas of resistance at this moment in time. Uh, so Trapani, Palermo, and then obviously the uh, pocket just to the west of uh, Messina. I do wonder where the yeah, 15th Panzer Grenadier Division has gone. Also, that of the Hermengard in Panzer Division. We haven't seen any hint of them at all. It does make me wonder. Okay. Not a really large amount of uh, sorties there, but they still lost quite a number of planes. Okay, so we can see that supplies to Messina are coming from uh, I'd wager probably Naples. It may be necessary that we take out Naples. Well, Napoli. Okay. Interesting. So it doesn't seem as though they are attempting a breakout. Uh, which makes me wonder if they even have any sufficient forces within that little pocket there. Hmm. I do feel so far that the Hermann Panzer Division, the, the German Infantry Division perhaps, and the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division um, have withdrawn to the Italian mainland. Uh, which honestly would be a good move. I mean, Sicily is... it's the canary in the coal mine. And if it's not worth holding, then it's not worth holding. Okay. So we can see the forces that we have taken out so far. Uh, so they've lost a Panzer IV H, some Stokes Marders. Nothing too uh, impressive, really. A good number of cargo ships so far. Okay. Air losses so far aren't so bad. Okay, let's take a look at the situation here. Okay, so there was no breakout attempt. Now, that's most definitely a German unit. Most definitely. Okay, so we are still attempting to bomb the enemy into submission. Right, so we can see the command web here is somewhat complex. Okay. So we can now see that we are receiving supply from these different ports over here, which is rather interesting. Uh, so it seems like the amount of freight has increased. This may possibly be due to the fact that we have spare capacity, or it may be due to the fact that uh, the ports are now available for such use. It may even be that we have the rail lines linked up to a degree. Okay. So let's take a look at the supply details for this force over here, under Dempsey. He's not too bad. Uh, we may take a look at the leaders of the actual different allied commands in the future and uh, remove and promote appropriate officers where needed. Okay. So at the moment you're not drawing supply from a depot. 
Which makes me um, believe that you're drawing supply directly from the railhead. Why is your priority zero, in fact? Right, that might be why you're not... Okay, wow, that's actually quite a... Uh... Issue. Have I accidentally clicked the wrong button here? I feel as though I've done that. At headquarters. Ah. Indeed, supply priority. Okay, so I may have accidentally set the uh, 8th British Army supply priority to zero by mistake. That's a boo -boo. Okay, now it's rectified. So we've lost out some eternal supplies there, more or less, but we should be okay. Especially as we have the ground phase to come. Right. Okay, let's take a look at our automatic air directed creation. Right, rails don't matter at the moment. Let's hit the units hard. Very, very hard right now. And... Actually, ferries and units. Um, airfields too, why not? As a lower priority. Right, strategic. And uh, we'll put these low on the list. Heavy industry remains priority. AP production, aircraft production. Manpower can be lower. I do want to hit that aircraft industry quite hard. Okay. Right, so that's the uh, V weapon launch platforms. Uh, the actual V weapon production, though, does need to be higher on the list. Okay, ground attack types. Um, airfields, we can lower that down. Doesn't really matter at this point in time. Actually, we'll just put that down. Um, hmm. Indeed. Actually, no, airfields do need to be higher up on that list, because this is Strategic Air Command in total, as this will be hitting... Um, hmm. We'll have it as a uh, low priority for this moment in time. Uh, ports and railways don't need to be hit right now. No, in fact, we'll hit the ports. Right, focus on the ports for this time being. There we go. Actually, this is night, so this is different. Okay. Uh, focus manpower. Actually, vehicles are a big thing. Heavy industry and vehicles. Right, that'll work for me. Okay, so set these new air directives. And then we'll have a quick review. Uh, well, first we'll have the AI move and manage the air bases. Okay, so let's consult the directives. As we can see here, the directives have shifted to Messina, onto this area around Messina, so Reggio, uh, Calabria, and the area around in the hinterland. Right, we are bombing the area over here. What are we actually um, committing? Uh, so I notice there's no actual escorts there. So altitude is set at 27, uh, 26,000 feet. Okay. Right, B-25s, B-17s, uh, Fs, uh, B-17Gs. So this so also gives us an estimation of what's actually in there. So we have the um, 41 pieces of heavy industry, 10 FB production, 8 aircraft, 21 rail yards. Okay, intensity is medium. It's to run for two days at 24,000 feet. Uh, strategic reconnaissance. 
Okay. Yeah, priorities are shifted. Uh, what can we expect for weather? Okay, the weather in the air is fine. Um, August 7th, it will be fine. Okay, so we are looking at good weather for the time being. It should be good for us to advance. Okay, I am happy with that. So let's execute said directives. I mean, four tens. Pockable for 90s. Yeah, we are losing quite a few planes to that. A lot of planes, actually. I mean, 210. Indeed, we do need to bomb these airfields into submission before we launch any sort of invasion. Okay, there's German forces. Right, there's German forces in Messina as well. I do wonder if the Herlinger and then the 15 Hunziker and the other division have been back pulled back to Messina itself. Uh, they may be planning a counter-attack. And the Italian forces are more than likely going to be defeated, but they're just holding forces more or less anyway. May very well be worthwhile having a prolonged campaign against the actual airfields. Um, I do need to take a look at my actual aircraft numbers and consult the amount that are damaged and see if it may be uh, time to rest them. Okay, so our losses are. Fairly average at this point. We average, I don't know, about 450 to 500 losses per week, really. Which honestly is quite heavy, but they're not too terrible. Indeed, so you can see the Axis losses are increasing again. Ours uh, so are actually decreasing, which is very good. I do, I think uh, this is due to the fact that we're actually taking a number of Axis aircraft out of commission, as well as damaging airfields. Uh, so if we take a look at... Do... Uh, bombing, okay. Uh, so our bombing victory points is increasing quite dramatically. We are causing a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, losses here. U-boats. Yeah, we are ranking those. Uh, V-weapons, no beachhead. Right, total of ready men. Okay. Total ready aircraft. As you can see, we are dropping from our high to 6834. Okay. Right, so our fuel store requirements are starting to increase again. Uh, so let's consult the damage that we actually did carry out. Oops, wrong one. Right. u bird factory production has been damaged over here in Hamburg. Um, heavy industry is taking a hell of a beat in. Uh, this infected fuel production in Essen has been knocked out for this time being. Manpower has been incredibly damaged. Yeah, lots of heavy industry here damage. Uh, Dusseldorf has been hit very hard. 
Now, obviously, we only have an approximation of the damage here. You can see here the amount of photos taken uh, to uh, reckon. Uh, well, to reconnaissance. Reckon? Reconnaissance? Uh, well, the um, reconnaissance over these areas. Uh, vehicle production is going to take some time to knock out. I think we do need to probably focus on vehicle production, because that is the lifeblood of the, uh, the Max Logistics. Okay. So you can see how the supplies have shifted around now. Uh, we are supplying ourselves from Catania quite heavily. Uh, Catania is on priority repairs, so we do need to increase that. Okay, so you can see here that the lack of supplies is quite a uh, dreadful thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, so these forces are counted as cut off. So what do we have here? Hmm. Uh, so we can't pass that to rain. Uh, so we have the Asetia. Asetia Division. The 26th Asetia Division. Uh, these forces here really are lacking in uh, basic supplies. I mean, they do have enough for the time being, but they don't have much. Uh, so we're going to hit this force hard and see if we can force them to surrender. Okay, they've retreated. Okay, we can follow up. Okay, so what do we have over here then? We have... Um... More Italian forces. Let's follow up here. Right, so here we go. We have the 15th Panzer Gr and uh, Dia Division. So they are still... in Sicily. Okay. Work on these rail lines. There we go, we're almost at the mini. Okay, do we want to link up these rail lines? Um, hmm. It probably would be a good idea. We'll link up the rail lines, and then at least we have a connection there. Okay. As we have the US infantry over here. Uh, what do we have in terms of capacity, then? Right, so 15,000 tons, 13, 10, uh, 15... No, nowhere near enough. Okay, so it may be just wise that we return them to... Uh, North Africa for the time being, as we just simply can't unload them presently. Ah, perhaps we just need to land here then. Uh, which could be a good way to actually boost the... Right, so we have 13,000 tons, this is 21,000, almost 22,000. I can unload you. Uh, so we'll load the um, division here. Right, so I'll have the division move out. Okay. Uh, we'll have you enter into port here. Then perhaps you will boost that um, shipping. Okay. Right, Italian forces have been identified. So what do we have here? The 230th and the 208th coastal divisions. And then we have the 137th, 213th, and 206th coastal... Well, uh, 213th, 206th coastal division, and then a coastal regiment. Right, they have surrendered. That's about 6,000 men who have walked into captivity now. Uh, Masala has been taken. Okay, so they're not going to give way for the moment in time, but that's fine. We can just have them in a state of siege. Okay, so we need to advance on Palermo. But first of all, we need to surround it. After the reserve. Active reserve. Uh, notice we have the weaker elements on the front line and then the uh, stronger one as a reserve. Okay. Rail line, so we should move up over here. Uh, well, actually, I can't do that. Uh, we do have... That. Right, what priority is this? It's a level 3 priority. That's okay. I probably should have had the rail lines run up there, so uh, do somewhat regret that now. Uh, but oh well. Oh well. I think what we'll do then is have this... Um, Armoured Formation Return. Probably would be a wise idea. 
take them off the ship. And then when we do have the opportunity, we will merge them with the British forces over here, as well as British, French and American forces uh, to advance into Sardinia. Okay. So you're still on the ships in a moment. Uh, so I could have them attached to the uh, US Provisional Corps Command for this time being under uh, Command of Patton. Obviously, yeah, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. That was a boo-boo. Okay. Let's have the British forces deal with this. Okay, they held. Right, let's take a look at that. So we have... Uh, 10,800 men with the Ruggiero Aeronautica running support missions for them. Okay. And that's fine, we can have um, elements of the British Armoured and the um, American Armoured Division hit them all at the same time. Okay, so we're attacking with 519 armored fighting vehicles, uh, 41,918 men, um, 49 Hurricane 2s, and 10 Spitfire 12s. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll change these message level down. It's trying to find the perfect one. Yep, they are forced to surrender. Awesome. Best result. Sweet. Hmm. Ah. So we do have the Hermann Göring Panzer Division. That needs to be dealt with ASAP. Okay, so I'm going to wager that is another element of the uh, 15 Panzer Grenadier Division. Okay, so we have to impress on the Axis forces over here. Uh, these airborne forces do need to be moved out. They would be good, very good, to assist with the invasion of Sardinia. Uh, so all defense will have them moved towards a... Um, airfield. It's not really a high-level one as such. Uh, but we'll just have them ship back to the mainland, actually. Have them cross that river. Then again, I could have them there. Okay, so Axis resistance in Sicily is uh, confined to three locations. Well, technically four locations. So we have... Um, what do we have here? We have Trapani. Uh, we have Palermo. We have this small pocket over here, which is absolutely sh well, going to be ruined. And then we have the forces of Messina. Uh, so all in all, the campaign is going very well so far, uh, without too, too much resistance, in all honesty. Uh, their losses are 17,457 at the moment, with uh, 19,382 being captured in total. And it has cost us a good couple thousand men, but uh, honestly, for a few thousand men for Sicily, it's hardly anything. Really not much at all. Okay. Preparation is at 12. Uh, so it's going to take time for us to prepare to land in Sardinia, but we will get there in time. Okay, so it looks as though we've had forces arrive. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual log itself. Arrival. U.S. Engineers. Uh, 
Okay. Right, so Tunis is shipping supply. Sweet. And what do we have in terms of actual production then? Okay. Uh, so 2013 cargo ships in our pool uh, with 256 troop ships. Supplies obviously is good to go for the time being. Alright. Let's see, what do we have in our active? M22 Locust. Sherman Jumbos. So we don't have them present in any units at this moment in time. Ah, uh, London. Ooh, the Churchill AVREs. Yeah, that 209mm spigot petard mortar. That is a ridiculously powerful mortar. Okay. Ah, so we have the 6th British Rifle Airborne Division. I'd very, very much like them being moved out to the Italian front. Though perhaps we'll keep them here in Britain. Probably would be the wiser move, actually. Okay, so Canadian forces are growing over here. So some Commonwealth forces there. Is that Polish? Yeah, we have uh, Polish armoured. Interesting. Uh, basically armed with uh, British equipment. Okay. Just waiting for that preparation to build. Other than that, there's no issue here. Uh, so what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and we'll resolve the turn, and uh, then I'll call it a end for the session. Okay. It does seem to be a very gross mismanagement of troops in Sicily by the Axis forces, the Axis commanders, to have them. Uh, well, I mean, we were able to exploit the situation using panzers. Using infantry, we probably would not have been able to uh, carry that out, but obviously with the actual um, tanks, we were able to get in there. So obviously that did expend a lot of fuel, and it was only because we held the actual tanks in the reserve that we were able to do that. Okay, low number of sorties there. Indeed, the fact that we have the Hermann Gernon Panzer Division in Sicily is incredibly bad for the Axis. I mean, they're going to be a tough nut to crack, but they have, uh, yeah, that's a lot of firepower there. The issue is they just don't have the supplies available to them. So imagine the Axis is more or less just evacuating from Sicily. Uh, the level 3 airbase over here at Trapani would be absolutely amazing for the invasion of Sardinia. And uh, to add to support. Okay. Uh, 
I believe I could probably do a Greater Than Depot at a Mini. I mean, we have supplies coming from the south of the island. Hmm. Okay. So, we have a clear identification of the Herman Gordon Panzer Division. Uh, we have two elements of the... Right, okay. Ah. So we have a Panzer Grenadier Brigade. Hmm. Interesting. But yes, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this so far, and I hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye for now. Have a great day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. See you all very, very soon.